<laughs> wow. Oh. You are done up. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Talk of the past I'll contrast with strangers I still recall the day that we met You were wearing your calico dress And out of all the things that I only you are not one of them Ryan and Mandy would like to extend the biggest of thank yous to all who are present today to make this happen. We know the circumstances have been crazy to get here, but I can feel immense amount of love present in the air. A special thank you to Mandy's parents, Pam and Jim. Yes, like from the office. <laughs> and Ryan's parents, Linda and George, for helping Mandy and Ryan navigate these trying times and plan a pandemic wedding around the new normal. Sorry, I just had to get all of those hot buzzwords in there to, just to drive everyone a little bit nuts. We would also like to acknowledge those family members and friends who are unable to be here today, especially Jim, Heather, Evelyn, and James Michaels, Amy, Mark, and Oliver Hudson, and those who are here in spirit, specifically Doris and Bob Dodge, Alice and Jim Michaels, Jimmy Boyle, Dorothy and Sparky Hench, Katie and Dereden, and Adam Jansen. For those of you who don't know me, 
I would like the record to state that I am Ryan's dashing and significantly younger sister, and I am the OG Amanda Hench. <laughs> At our backyard wedding last year, I somewhat felt like I was taking over Jim's role of father of the bride as I was giving away my name to a new person. And while it's been far over a year and a lot has changed since, I'm still not cool with it. <laughs> Jokes aside, at least for the next two minutes, we are here today to celebrate the love between Mandy and Ryan and to renew the promises they have made to one another as they grow their life together as husband and wife. And while leading up to today has certainly not been the circumstance anyone wanted or asked for, I can't help but see some good in this. Because when you strip down all of the superficial and aesthetic parts of a wedding, the favors, the centerpieces, your mom's roommate from college that she hasn't seen in 10 years but insists that you invite, what really makes the day special is the step that you take to commit yourself to one another through anything and everything. And the cool part is that you were able to strip that all down and get married in a raw, organic, heartfelt way. So this today is just a giant tropical celebration to solidify that. And I find that super unique and special. No other married couple here has, can say that they got that opportunity. So many brides and grooms, myself included, don't remember a lot of their wedding day because much of the stress of the flowers not being in the right spot or the favors not arriving in time. So my hope is that today you both are able to relax have fun, and know that you're technically already married. So this is just a really crazy renewal of vows. I'd like to invite Amy up for the first reading. Just a second. <laughs> if in the morning when you wake, if the sun does not appear, I will be here. If in the dark we lose sight of love, hold my hand and have no fear. I will be here. I will be here when you feel like being quiet. When you need to speak your mind, I will listen. Through the winning, losing, and trying, we'll be together and I will be here. If in the morning when you wake, if the future is unclear, I will be here. As sure as seasons were made for change, our lifetimes were made for years, I will be here. I will be here and you can cry on my shoulder when the mirror tells us we're older. I will hold you to watch you grow in beauty and tell you all the things you are to me. We'll be together and I will be here. I will be true to the promises I've made to you and to the one who gave you to me. I will be here. So anyone who's married here knows that marriage is not easy. There will be days like that reading or song says where the future is unclear your body mind and souls do change and the sun doesn't seem to shine over you all the time i love that the song acknowledges the journey that you make together the ups and the downs you two are committing yourselves as partners in this crazy ride of life through the winning losing and trying like that's powerful speaking of ups and downs no one knows about marriage ups and downs like your mom's and friends and family. So I chatted with both of your moms and some of your friends to get some anecdotes or words of love about the two of you or moments that they knew you two were meant to be. Pam said she knew Ryan was either was the one either when he stood by her side when she had food poisoning the first time she brought him home <laughs> or when Mandy called her and said, Mom, he even went to Target to get me soft toilet paper. <laughs> Mandy's friend Allison said she knew Mandy and Ryan were smitten kittens pretty immediately. <laughs> she says, I remember watching the way that he looked at her and the way that he was so engaged anytime she was talking. And she acted the same way towards him. It seemed like a natural, perfect fit from the beginning. Ryan's friend Slim, okay, Dan, said Ryan called him immediately after meeting Mandy and goes, oh, I effed up. I met a girl in another state and there are feelings. So he went on to say that Ryan is also the most honest person I have ever met, and I couldn't imagine my life without him. He's the only person I can think of that I would trust my, with my wife and kids, no question asked. 
I couldn't be more honored to stand up with him or proud of who he is as a man. So if I'm hearing this correctly, Ryan, you may be getting two wives out of this. <laughs> Ryan's mother, Linda, of course, said, Ryan always told me he would never leave home. And as his significantly younger sister, I can tell you that he didn't really. <laughs> Until he was like almost 32, he called his parents his roommates. I tried really hard. <laughs> <laughs> also, we both had to just point out that he had to call his mommy because he forgot his wedding ring at home and had to have her go get it for him and fly it out here. Good luck, Mandy. <laughs> At the center of marriage are the wedding vows. And while I firmly believe that actions will always hold more weight in your relationship, the promises that you renew today will serve as a reminder of the actions you have already promised as husband and wife. Ryan, we will begin with you. <laughs> I, Ryan. I, Ryan. Take thee, Mandy. Take thee, Mandy. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Mandy, a symbol of eternal love, wedding rings have been a long-standing tradition for over 6,000 years. A circle has no beginning or end, and therefore is a symbol of infinity. It is endless, eternal, just the way love is. For many, the wedding ring is worn on the fourth finger in the left hand. This is because the vein in that finger is believed to lead directly to the heart. If we could now please have the rings brought forward. Ryan, I invite you to take this ring and place it on the fourth finger of Mandy's left hand. While holding her hand in yours, repeat after me. Mandy, I give you this ring. Mandy, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness. As I place it on your finger. As I place it on your finger. I recommit my heart and soul to you. I recommit my heart and soul to you. I ask you to wear this ring. I ask you to wear this ring. As a reminder of the vows we have spoken today. As a reminder of the vows we had spoken today. Mandy, will you please take this ring and place it on the fourth finger of Ryan's left hand? While holding his hand in yours, repeat after me. Ryan, I turn it. Ryan, I give you this ring. Ryan, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness. As I place it on your finger. As I place it on your finger. I recommit my heart and soul to you. I recommit my heart and soul to you. I ask you to wear this ring. I ask you to wear this ring. As a reminder of the vows we have spoken today. As a reminder of the vows we have spoken today. In a normal wedding ceremony, I would typically say, may these rings symbolize your inherent wholeness and unity with one another. Serve as a reminder of the promises you have made today and remind you that marriage is not a destination, but a journey with no beginning or end. Just a moment to moment opportunity to love and be loved to the best of your ability. But I do have to be honest that Mandy and Ryan aren't fully whole just yet. One day they will take that next step in their relationship and become parents. Something will change in their hearts. A portion of that opens that you didn't even know existed, 
and they are going to fall in love with each other, gosh darn it, <laughs> harder than they ever thought was possible. Mandy and Ryan will be able to experience that sheer bliss in April of 2022. <laughs> if everyone can please join me in congratulating the parents to be. Mandy and Ryan, I hear repronounce you husband and wife and mom and dad. Ryan, you may kiss your baby mama. Family and friends, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Ryan Hench. Love you. 
love you. Come on, everybody, make some noise for the newlyweds. I'm gonna ask now the uh, groom, please, to find his seat. Look at the two of you dancing that way, lost in the moment and each other's face. So much in love, you're alone in this place Like there's nobody else in the world I was enough for her not long ago I was her number one, she told me so And she still means the world to me, just so you know So be careful when you hold my girl Time changes everything, life must go on I'm not gonna stand in your way I loved her first, I held her first And a place in my heart will always be hers From the first breath she breathed When she first smiled at me I knew the love of a father runs deep find you someday but it's still hard to give her away I loved her first how could that beautiful woman with you be the same freckle face kid that I knew the one that I read all those fairy tales to Tucked in the bed all those nights And I knew the first time I saw you with her It was only a matter of time I loved her first, I held her first And a place in my heart will always be hers From the first breath she breathed When she first smiled at me find you someday but it's still hard to give her away I loved her first from the first breath she breathed when she first smiled at me I knew the love of a father might know what I'm going through when a miracle smiles over you I love to feel
clap your hands, everybody. Let's all take a minute to take a deep breath, bow our heads, and have a quick prayer and thanks for this beautiful day. In the name of the Father and Son and the Holy Spirit, Lord, thank you so much for this unbelievable, beautiful union of Ryan and Mandy. We couldn't have had a better day. We couldn't have been with a nicer group of friends and family, and we couldn't be more grateful for the abundance of food and drink and love that we have here. Please watch over and take care of Ryan and Mandy and their journey through life, and let's all pray together that the majority of it is filled with love, health, and happiness. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Can you believe we are here? I cannot believe all of this time has passed, and now we are on the beach, and the ocean is right there, and it is amazing. So beautiful wedding, and I'm so happy to be here. Um, my name is Allison, and Amanda Susan Michaels has been my best friend since third grade. Um, <laughs> in almost 30 years of friendship, I have known the Mandy with the bangs, the Mandy with the braces, the Mandy with the overalls, the cross-country runner, the Duluth lover, the burrito at midnight in Uptown Eater, <laughs> The Mandy, who let me serenade her with Taylor Swift's love song at 9 a.m. while we lived together in Uptown. The Mandy, who let me raid her closet while we listened to Rachel Yamagata. The Mandy, who bravely made a career pivot and went to nursing school. The Mandy, who was meeting a guy that she rung in the New Year with in Wisconsin Dells. Um, the Mandy, who made the leap to, uh, to Chicago for this guy. The Mandy, who was on the front lines of a pandemic, taking care of others while her wedding dreams were constantly put on hold. The Mandy, who got to marry her lobster while I cried on the other end of a Zoom call. <laughs> the Mandy, who's going to be an incredible mother. I'm not sure there is anyone in the world who I feel more like myself with than Mandy. Um, what I love about her is probably what a lot of you love about Mandy. Mandy is thoughtful, smart, and has an empathetic heart. She is an incredible friend and makes me giggle like I'm in third grade all the time. Um, and these incredible things about her are what I think attracted Ryan to her. Ryan and Mandy came to visit um, my family and I in Charleston earlier this year, and I was able to see firsthand the way that Ryan loves her. I saw the hearts in his eyes. I'm, I swear, I, I think he looks at her with hearts in his eyes. <laughs> um, I, when he looks at her. I saw the way he laughed at her jokes and wanted to make her laugh in return. I saw the way he sucked it up, even though he was in a lot of pain the entire weekend. It sucks getting older, doesn't it? Um, his positive attitude, his up-for-anything personality, and his affection towards her won me over. And what more could you ask for for your best friend? I am so glad that they found each other. And on this day that we have waited so patiently for, I wanted to cheers the two of you and the life that you've already created and the chapters that are yet to come. So if you can raise your glasses, let's toast the bride and groom. Congratulations. Good evening. My name is Dan. They call me Slim. We don't want to know why. I know it's been kind of a long day. It's been warm, breezy, and beautiful, so I'll make this short and sweet like my love life. <laughs> love you, sweetheart. Ryan and I have been best friends for over 20 years. And Ryan, Ryan was my best man and still is. He's my friend, he's my brother. And what I love most about Ryan is what I love about Ryan and Mandy, right? Life is about relationships. Ryan makes me a better person, makes me a better man. He inspires me to be a better father and husband, and I can see that with Ryan and Mandy. That's the best part. They make each other better. And there's nothing more you can ask than that. So to make it short and sweet, I will give a few traits that I think are important for a long and bountiful marriage. Sincerity. Be sincere to each other in everything that you do, okay? 
inspire each other. Seek to be the muse for your daily life. Things get tough, and with that baby coming, let me tell you, it gets more interesting. <laughs> be noble and fruitful and focus on family because there is nothing more important. Seek the opportunity to take care of each other at every chance you get, and I know you two will because I also see the way you look at each other. It's kind of like Ryan and I used to look at each other. <laughs> we might still. Ryan is somebody that comes from a place he's proud of, a nation full of hardworking people. And he always, always, always lives to his ideals. He's a man that is really a man's man. Not a tough guy. I thought I was a tough guy. I'm not. But Ryan is. And lastly, I want to encourage you both to just do whatever you can to help each other attain whatever it is you want in your life that makes you happy and will help you to take care of each other. We love you guys very much. We're grateful to be here. Here is to Ryan and Mandy. Cheers. And also we have one more quick surprise. I'm gonna need the bride to come up to the stage real briefly, please. A serenade to a girl at the one we love and always will adore. Our voices raised in singing. A, a tribute to our girl. To the sweet heart of fine you. As we sing, our songs will come drifting through the night to serenade, to serenade our fine you
never have to run away You always have a friend to play You'll never go out on your own In me you will find a home Home From the back to the middle and around the end I'm gonna be there till the end One, two, three. Whee! <laughs>